hey everyone welcome back to our channel today i'm going to show you how to upgrade and downgrade php version by simply using xam so without wasting any time let's get started so first we're going to close the xam control panel and then we're going to go for cmd so we are using uh if you type over here php dash version then as you can see i'm rightly using php 8.0.30 so now we will going to downgrade it so before that we need to come over into our file explorer and then we need to go for our local c drive and then we need to go for xam file and here as you can see here is a php file so now we, what we're going to do we're going to give it as the change the name as php 7 or 8 and then we're going to save it and then we're going to look for apache and then we're going to change the name with the apache 8 and that's it and now what we're going to do we're going to go for our google chrome browser uh, into the search option we just need to search for xam older version so if you click on that then we'll get this website click on that and from here if we just click on xam for windows click on that and from here we can simply select uh, this version 7.4.32 if you click on that then we'll get it to download for zip so if you click on that after some seconds later as you can see the download has been started so if you just click on download and as you can see the download has been started so it will take some seconds to complete for that keep patience so as you can see the download has been completed and now if i just click on this folder icon as you can see here is our xam so i'm going to take it into another drive by simply copying it and here we're going to extract it so click on extract all and going to click on extract and as you can see right now is extracting so it will take some seconds to complete for that keep patience so as you can see the file has been extracted so now we're going to go for this xam folder and from here i'm going to select this php and apache these two files so i'm going to cut it from here and going to go for local c drive and into the xam folder we're going to paste it here over here like this so as you can see now it's going to pasting after completing the paste you will going to convert into this php file and from here we need to search for this php property go for the properties and see it's an ini.ini file over here so i'm going to click on it to open it and as you can see it's rightly open in our computer so now if i maximize it and from here i'm going to click Control plus f and from here i'm going to search for xam and search it and as you can see here we get a xam over here a lot of time so for that in here i'm going to click to c drive and going to give the clone and that's it so we need to do it for a couple of times so for that i'm going to click on another time and from here i just do the same you just need to give the c and give the clone then we need to give another time over here and here is another xam so i'm going to give it c and going to give clone and then we need to do it another time so for that i need to give over here c going to give the clone and going to give another time so make sure that all the xam should be uh right by c clone so make sure we we doing it right so for that we need to click on it, it here going to give the c clone and then over here we need to give c clone going to give another time and as you can see right now there is no left uh oh here is another one so i'm going to give c dot i'm going to do it and going to give the c and make sure all are checked in so now we're going to click on save so you can simply click on the file and going to save it and now if you can simply close it so now what we can do right now we can simply go for our cmd prompt so i'm going to give into the cmd click enter and then here right now we're going to click on php space dash version and then going to click on save and as you can see we rightly downgrade 7.4.33 so we can simply downgrade this by simply 
doing this process so this is how you can simply downgrade your xam php in your computer thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you for another videos till then goodbye